Me llamo... Buenos días. Good morning. Me llamo Catherine Germán. Soy socia de la asociación al Quds de solidaridad con los pueblos del mundo árabe. Y para mí es un gran honor y un gran placer poder moderar esta reunión. Creo que es la primera y espero que sea la primera de muchísimos más. La primera reunión vía internet entre jóvenes palestinos en la Franja de Gaza. Eh, jóvenes palestinos que han sido convocadas por el Instituto Canaan para la Nueva Pedagogía y también jóvenes malagueños del wow. Instituto de Enseñanza Secundaria Pablo Picasa en Málaga. Eh, y la Asociación al CUT, uno de sus objetivos, entre otros, en el apoyo a los pueblos del mundo árabe es ayudar a la concienciación del resto del mundo de las grandes dificultades que tienen los palestinos en Gaza en su vida diaria, los retos a los que se enfrentan en eh, reivindicar los derechos humanos y hemos pensado que es esencial que los jóvenes tomen conciencia de esas realidades y que aprenden a compartir y que se vayan conociendo, porque los jóvenes sois el futuro. Good morning. Um, I introduced myself before to those of you in Gaza, and I was just explaining that this is the first meeting, I think of its kind, organized by the association I belong to, Association Al-Quds for Solidarity with the People of the Arab World. And we are, um, today we have young people from Gaza who were brought together by the Canaan Institute for New Pedagogy and young people from a high school in Malaga. And I was telling uh, them in Spanish that for us at Al Quds, one of our missions is to try and help the people of Gaza as much as possible to overcome the difficulties you have in your everyday life, to make the world aware of the constant violations of human rights uh, in your, uh, where you live, and also to raise awareness, in particular amongst young people, about all of the difficulties you have and to enable you young people to meet young people from other parts of the world and share your experiences. Because you young people are the future. You young people will have to carry on with the work of trying to solve the problems of this world. Okay. Uh, yes. Let's, let's translate. Yes. Uh, okay, he would all in no here, a Shahatil of Nuhad, our Ishtima, he come a ben a Jamaica Pusle Tadama Mashro Bil Alam Al Arabi, Malaga, Uma ben a Shabab Al Palasidi, Illy Mojudin B, a Uli Taban Nemahat Kanan Terbawi, who are Lee Jamahom, we Shabab Al Mojudin B, a Malaga, who are Shabab B, a Had Madaris. الثانوية بتقول إنه أحد أهم المشنز المهام الأهداف اللي جمعية القدس اللي تضامن مع شعوب العالم العربي بعملها إنه هو يزيد الوعي بزيادة الوعي للعالم بالتحديات والمشاكل اللي بواجهها الشعب الفلسطيني في غزة وكمان إنه كيف ممكن نتجاوز هاي المشاكل أو هاي التحديات اللي بتواجهها بحياتكم اليومية كمان بتقول إنه إحنا بنعمل هذا الإشي لأنه المفروض إنه أنتوا الشباب الفلسطيني هو شباب المستقبل وإنه أنتوا الشباب هم اللي راح تعملوا للمستقبل لقدام Okay, okay we are now going to pass um, the floor to Laura at the high school Pablo Picasso in Malaga. Ahora paso la palabra a Laura, que creo que es profesora de inglés del Instituto Pablo Picasso. Y te doy la bienvenida. Pablo. 
Hi, good morning. I'm Laura. I'm speaking on behalf of Pablo uh, Picasso High School. We are delighted to have been invited to this very interesting event. My students here are all very looking forward to hearing about your experiences, and uh, we hope this is the beginning of a very fruitful collaboration. Thank you very much for having us. Let's enjoy this time together. Thank you. Could you could you hear the the voice? Is it? Is it um, is yeah, we we I heard. Unfortunately, it was not very clear. I don't know if the translator in Gaza uh, heard clearly enough to interpret. Okay. I, can you hear me now? Is it that, better now? That, that is much better. That is much better. Okay, because we had uh, prepared a microphone, but it's not working properly. So I'm just going to speak to the computer. Okay. Great. Again, I, I don't want to take uh, a long time. Uh, I'm just speaking on behalf, I'm Laura, I'm speaking on behalf of ES Pablo Picasso School. We are delighted to have been invited. It is a really great chance for us to get to know other realities. My students are really looking forward to um, to having this experience. They have prepared many questions to get to know your reality, and we will share also um, uh, our daily lives, uh, our students as, as teenagers. So. We really much hope that this will be the start of a very uh, fruitful collaboration in the future. Thank you very much for having us. Okay, let's let's me translate. يعني بتقول إن هما في مدرسة اسمها بابلو بسكاسو وهذه المدرسة موجودة بملقا هما كتير سعيدين وكتير مبسوطين إن هما تم دعوتهم لا إن يكونوا موجودين في هذا الاجتماع. هما كثير بيتطلعوا وعندهم كثير اسئله كثير تساؤلات عن وضعكم او عن الحياه اللي بتعيشوها وعن كيف انتم بتعيشوا حياتكم اليوميه وكمان عندهم راح يحكوا عن هما كيف بيعيشوا حياتهم اليوميه. اوكي. Muy bien, muchas gracias, Laura. Para mí también es un gran placer. Espero poder ir un día a conoceros a todos vosotros. Facilitada. Eh, eh, vamos a empezar. Sabemos que estamos reunidos un poco para hablar, compartir entre todos los jóvenes presentes los retos de la vida cotidiana de la juventud de Málaga y la de Franja de Gaza. Y creo que vamos a empezar con María. We are going to go ahead with um, the topic of discussion. In other words, today we are going to, the idea is for you young people in Gaza and the people in Malaga to share your experiences, the difficulties that you have in your daily lives. We are going to begin with Maria. <coughs> Maria, un momento que vamos a eh, 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 dar tiempo a que la intérprete en Gaza traduzca, ¿vale? vale. Eh, تمام راح تبدا معهم يحكوا آه, عن الديفيكالتيز المشاكل اليوميه اللي بيواجهوها بحياتهم آه, وراح تترجم لي اياها انجلش وانا راح اترجم لكم اياها ان شاء الله. اوكي ماريا. اوكي. هاي ماي نيم از ماريا اند ماي ديفيكولتي از ذات ماي هاي سكول از فار اواي فروم ماي هوم. سو افري داي ماي داد درايفز مي باي كار تو ذير. And does it happens to you? And is transport communication good there? تمام بتقول إنه واحدة من أهم المشاكل تبعتها إنه المدرسة تبعتها الثانوية كتير بعيدة عن ال بيتهم فعشان هيك بيضطروا إنه أمارية بيضطروا إنه باباها هو اللي يوصلها على المدرسة. تمام. يعني بدها big problem بدي خلص. Okay. Um, I don't know if the dynamics was that your uh, young people answer the question, Isa, or will that be afterwards? Maria asked you the question whether it was also difficult. She pointed out that for her it was difficult getting to school because she lived far from school. Her yeah. father had to take her. And she asked the young people in Gaza if they have similar problems. Do they live far from their schools? And uh, do they have good transport facilities? Okay, okay. Uh, I didn't, I didn't hear the question before, but, ah, but okay. yes. Uh, هي بتسأل إنه هل هذا المشكلة اللي بتواجهها يوميا بالنسبة لا إن هي بعيدة أو المدرسة بعيدة عن ال البيت بتواجهكم أو أنتوا عندكم في وسائل نقل مواصلات جيدة وكويسة؟ ممكن نجاوب one, one, two. Okay, let's start. 
Okay, Musa will start about the, this question. Okay, okay. Um, uh, he said that some of people, some of his students, uh, their uh, their schools or their high schools is far away from uh, uh, their homes, but not not all of uh, them, and there is no uh, public uh, uh, transportation to uh, to. Yeah. Yeah. Sí, alguna aquí este joven ha contestado diciendo que sí, que para él eh, el colegio está lejos de la casa, para algunos otros compañeros la casa está lejos, eh, aunque otros no tanto, pero que tienen el problema de que no tienen eh, sistemas de transporte público. Eh, tengo que pedir disculpas porque creo que la instrucción es, me la ha saltado, eso no está bien, jóvenes, acordaros que siempre hay que leer muy bien. Las instrucciones porque me habían indicado que después de Laura eh, tenía que eh, pasar la palabra a Isa. De todas formas, ahora eh, cuando traduzca esto, eh, eh, o, o ahora después de haber traducido, perdón para vosotros, voy a dar paso a Isa, que creo que es el procedimiento. Eh, Isa, I didn't read, I was telling... Um, the young people in Spanish, I was translating the answer from your young, uh, um, your, this young man, and, um, oh, great, um, uh, I, I'm just sorry, I'm saying great because I've just received notice that I do not have to translate into Spanish for the students at the Pablo Picasso High School. Good for you, young people in Malaga. They understand English, so I do not have to translate into Spanish. This will make this faster. Wow. Isa, now I am going to give you the floor, I think, to introduce yourself before we go on, okay? Uh, okay. Um, um, for Isa. Okay, but you know, he has a problem. It's important that the people who are present in Malaga, they know. Speak English, Garfu, Isma, English, or Garfu, English, Tamaha, Pamish, Hitta, and Hatersham, Alla, Lespani. Taman, Halla, Bidan, Halle, or Hadmin and Ashkas. You wanna, you wanna speak? Excuse me, you want me to introduce ourselves? Yes, I am, well, yes, Laura, you know, the way Laura, the teacher in Malaga, she just briefly introduced who she was, and maybe you introduce yourself, exactly. In fact, in fact, uh, we are as uh, an institute, educational institute uh, in Gaza. We are active all over the Gaza Strip. The Gaza Strip is uh, 360 square kilometers, just a small piece of land. Uh, we have cooperation with El Quds Malaga Association since 10 of years. We support uh, teenagers and children in their um, activities uh, needed, like uh, education, uh, confidence, uh, building uh, themselves, uh, uh, life skills, and all, uh, all things they need, especially psychosocial support, because they are facing a lot of uh, aggression and attack from the Israeli troops from time to time. Uh, in fact, in fact, the group with me, the group with me, the teenagers, uh, girls and boys from one area, we cooperate with, with their associations. They are from El Magazi refugees camps in the middle of Gaza Strip, El Magazi refugees camps which is a small uh, piece of land, half a square kilometer, half a square kilometer, all the land of the camp, and there are high population in the camp. They are refugees from villages and towns uh, in Palestine, 1948. Their families immigrated to Gaza Strip, and they lived in one of the camps in the Gaza Strip, there are eight camps. Uh, their camp is El Magazi camp, and the population is very high in the camps. In El Magazi, there are in half a square kilometer 35,000 people. 
35,000 people living in their camp. All of them are from El Magazi camp. Thank you, Isa. Laura, did your students understand well? <laughs> Laura, did, Laura, did your un student, uh, did your students understand? Good. That's very important, I think, for them to understand where these young Palestinians live. Very good. So um, thank you, Isa, for yes. this explanation. I think it is very, very important for all of us to understand where your uh, young people live. So now, Isa, can you uh, give the floor to the first person who is going to intervene in your group? Okay. Okay. Okay, Musa, uh, Musa, one of the uh, young people here, young Palestinian people here, we want to say that uh, in his school, uh, in his high school, there is now a clear wa water to uh, drink, for example, and he didn't have uh, many uh, subjects, many uh, skills like art, uh, for example, like uh, mu music, for example. We don't, we don't have uh, these uh, classes in his uh, in his um, school. Thank you. That was Musa, right, Musa yeah. Abu. Thank you, Musa. Thank you. Did you all understand here in Malaga what Musa said? Laura, your students understood. Sat <laughs> told us that he at school he does not have clean drinking water and he also does not have some subjects like art and music which he would like to have music room here, here's Oscar. He's going to answer your question and pose another question for you, okay? Uh -huh. Hello, my name is Hocker. I'm here. For example, we, we give lessons about music. We have an art room for doing pictures and more things. And we have a music room too. Some people here uh, play instruments, like the violin. Uh, now, uh, this is my question. Uh, is there any uncertainty because of the increase of the cost of living due to the economic crisis? I don't Thank you. Yes, I didn't hear. I didn't hear the question. Okay, I will. Re I will uh, repeat for you. That's fine. Okay. Uh, Oscar explained that they're very fortunate. Malaga, you heard about they, they have an art room, they have meeting rooms, they play instruments. But he yeah. wanted to ask the young people of Gaza, do they, um, is there uncertainty? Is one of the difficulties of their lives of not knowing, you know, how expensive things are going to be because cost of living, it is becoming more um, products, food, lodging, etc. Clothes are becoming more expensive here in Spain because yeah. of very high inflation. Do you have the same difficulties in Gaza? 
يا اوكي ليتس مي ترانزيت اول شيء هو جاوب على سؤالكم او جاوب على التحدي اللي انتم حكيتوه انه هو عندهم حصص للرسم عندهم حصص للانسترومنتس للالات الموسيقيه عندهم حصص لل للبينتينج للرسم والاشياء اللي زي هيك لكن هي بتسال هل انتم عندكم غلاء معيشه هل انه انتم في عندكم ارتفاع في اسعار الشغلات اللي لها علاقه بالملابس فور اكزامبل الامثله يعني في عندكم غلاء معيشه لانه هم بيواجهوا هاي الشغله طبعا هلا بيواجهوها بشكل اكبر فعندهم انه هو الكوس او التكلفه تبعت كل الشغلات اللي لها علاقه بحياتهم اليوميه كثير غاليه ف يعني اه طبعا والاكل ف إذا ممكن تجاوبي مثلا. هي بتسأل بتقول. عجزة البطالة والعجزة الموجودة بدل الغلاء الغلاء والغلاء أوكي اه. قولي اسمك. يور نيم اسمك واحكي لهم ايش قوي بدهم صار. أنا اسمي سوار. إلا ما سوار. أوكي. أنا اسمي سوار. المستوى المعيشي اللي عنا عادي كان بالنسبة بس لما أجت الحرب بتاعت أوكرانيا أو روسيا صار في غلاء في المعيشة. أوكي. Okay, thank you. Um, Siwar, um, my female youngest, young uh, Palestinian people said that, um, yeah, there is, uh, there is many uh, products here like clothes, like food, uh, have uh, rises, rising in uh, the coast before and after the Ukraine, uh, uh, the Ukraine Russia uh, war. There is uh, a mere reason. To uh, to the uh, rising costs, uh, rising prices here in Gaza. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. In other words, um, uh, to make sure we I understood properly, one of the um, problems they think is because of the war in in Russia or the Russian the the invasion yeah. of Ukraine. Actually, actually, there is there is many there is many reasons. For example, there is a blockade. Uh, we have a siege for uh, more than 15 years old. Yes. Yeah. But uh, another reason, and there is so many reasons, like, for example, Corona. But uh, that's that was a very main reason that the, the war between Ukraine and Russia make the cold yes. rise. Yeah. Thank you. Malaga, you understood? Yes, Alejandro is now. He has the floor now. Good, thank you. Okay, can you hear me properly? Very nicely, yes, thank you. Okay, uh, here in Spain, the same problem remains because of the war between Russia and Ukraine. Um, the prices of the products uh, before the war were not the same as, as they are now. And it also affects to us, such as the prices of petrol or the prices of normal products there are supermarkets and also one problem i want to say is that here in spain uh we feel some social problems with with groups of friends where we don't fit in uh that can probably make uh make us problems because uh, we feel rejected from that group and that could most likely create a uh, social pressure in ourselves and we want to know if you have the same problem there. Okay, I, I understand, so I can translate. Thank you. Okay. He is saying that the first thing is that they have the same issue, the same problem with the price of the price, especially after the war Ukraine and Russia. They have the same problem with the things that have to do with the supermarket, the food, the food, and the things like that. كمان غلاء كثير غالي بالبترول بالبنزين بالاشياء اللي لها علاقه بالمواد المحروقه. آه في سؤال بيسالوا انه هم عندهم مشاكل اجتماعيه زي كيف؟ انه مشاكل داخل المدرسه فور اكزامبل بيكونوا عاملين مجموعه من الاشخاص او مجموعه من الطلاب بيصيروا انهم يجنبوا طالب مثلا في الصف او يجنبوا شخص مثلا. فما بيصيرش في عندهم مثلا تنمر او كذا انه ما بيحبوا انه يكون موجود ضمن المجموعه تبعتهم، فهذه بيصير عندهم نوع من انواع الضغط الاجتماعي على الطلاب ذات نفسهم، ضغط ممكن يؤدي مثلا الاكتئاب، فبيعتبر انه هل بيسال انه هل هاي الشغله ممكن انه انتم تواجهوها ولا انه الامور تمام؟ فاذا في حدا مثلا اه اوكي تفضل اول شيء ملك محمد اسلام ملك؟ اسالني جاوب 
ممكن نتعرض لكلام مر كثير بين الطلاب مثل يكون عيان او يجي وحده بتقول لك شكلك بتخزي لفظ اه لا اه اوكي اوكي تمام لا اوكي Malak uh, answered the question. She, she said that, uh, yes, they have the social <coughs> problem uh, in their schools. For example, uh, they uh, can uh, uh, um, have uh, playing, playing uh, on each other. For example, if, if someone is sick, uh, he uh, uh, playing in his face or in his uh, features. So yes, they have the same question. They have the same problem. So. Thank you. Um, and Malika, did you understand? She used the word yeah. bullying. They said the problem of this social pressure of rejection, maybe because of facial features or appearance or looks or clothes or whatever. Bullying. <coughs> The problem of bullying is common. Yeah. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Laura? Uh, hi, my name is... Can you hear her? Uh, hi. Hi, my name is Yasmin. Uh, here in Malaga, so many people feel shame to be without the mask, too. And sometimes we can also have Suffer bullying. Okay. Thank you. And now, okay, I'm gonna ask my question. And in my case, I would like to study what I really want, and which will be arts. But I can afford it, and I can only study far from home. Does this uh, happen to you? Could you? Could you repeat your last sentence, Yasmin, please? Um, I would really like to study arts, uh, but I can afford it. So, and I can only study far, far from home. And my question was, is if this happens to you too. Thank you. Okay. اوكي اول شيء هي اه قالت انه في شغله مشكله بيواجهوها غالبا اللي هي انه هم بيخجلوا من انهم يلبسوا الماسك عشان هيك ممكن انهم يتعرضوا للتنمر تمام طبعا يعني بتسال انه هل هذا الشيء ممكن انتم تواجهوه او لا الشغله الثانيه انه عادي اصلا الشغله الثانيه اللي بتقول انه هي كانت بدها يعني تدرس ارت تدرس فن ولكن هي مش قادره لانه لازم انه هي كثير بعيده عن البيت ولازم احيانا بيدرس اونلاين فعشان هيك انه هي بطلت بدها تدرس او مش قادره انها تدرس ارت زي ما هي كانت بدها او زي ما هي كانت راغبه فهل هذا الشيء ممكن تواجهوه او مثلا في حال انه مثلا بكلكم الجامعات ممكن مثلا يكون في عندكم شغله بدكم تدرسوها وتتحولوا او شيء يعني لو احنا بدنا نظبط السؤال في الاخر اه فممكن اه تفضل بسبب الدخل الاكاديمي اوكي في عدد كثير دخل الاكاديمي عدد كثير من الخريجين فبيشتغلوا لنا شغل فكثير من البطاله اوكي تمام their uh, desires or regarding to their uh, uh, ability to uh, go to universities or uh, to uh, <clears throat> uh, educate or uh, the 
the subjects that they want, sometimes people here cannot go to the university because there is low income. So our parents cannot provide them, or cannot provide them the, 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 uh, the, the good income to uh, let them go to the university, especially that uh, the highest of the fees. To, for example, in uh, uh, medicine and engineering, there is so many, there is a very high uh, fees in universities. So they have the same problem. Uh, another thing, uh, they have the problem of employment. We, uh, here in Gaza, we have the most population, uh, 2 million people live in uh, a very small area. So uh, there is a lot of people that they uh, get out from university and finish their uh, universities, but they cannot get any job. Thank you, thank you. Um, now, I guess, will one of your students um, in Gaza or, I know, okay. Uh, hello, my name is David. <coughs> in my class, in my case, I have a hobby that is dancing and I can't do it because I don't have enough money for classes and it's too far away. Do you have problem to do your hobbies? Thank you, David. Okay. Uh, David, uh, I, he, he asked, he, no, sorry. David, بس أنا سوري. David, بس أقولكم إنه هو عنده هواية هواية الرقص لكن هو مش قادر يسجل ب مثلاً بنادي أو يسجل بشغلات مثلاً مراكز أو إشي ممكن يتعلم الرقص لأنه ما عندوش إنف مال ما عندوش فلوس كفاية إنه يسجل بهاي الشغلات فهل بتواجهكم نفس المشكلة هل في عندكم هوبيز هوايات ممكن مثلاً زي الرسم زي مثلاً بالي زي مثلاً الأشياء اللي زي هيك مثلاً الكورة مثلاً أيوة بالضبط الكانس مثلا ومش قادرين يتسجلوا بكلابس تمام يمنى اه ممكن تقولي لي مثلا ايش الهوايه اللي مثلا ممكن تحبيها مثلا وانت ما قدرتي اوكي بس فور تمام تمام يمنى said that um, here in Gaza, we have the same problem because uh, the, fir the, first, the first thing that they have, they don't have enough money to, uh, to join, for example, clubs. And another problem that we don't have enough clubs. We have one of two. Another one. I did want to say something before I I start I translate. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead, Adele. <laughs> فيش في يعني ملعب معشب ولا أوكي عادل عادل said that um, he live in he lives in a very um, a very small area that have so many population that have 35,000 people who live in very uh, uh, very small area that they don't have uh, clubs they don't they have just one club and uh, the club they just they just play basketball, but they don't have football, for example. They don't have uh, tennis, for example. They don't have many uh, uh, sports that they can join and they, that they can to uh, uh, feel free in uh, their uh, playing or in their uh, 
uh, lives. And uh, that's a very problem that they face is that they, even the girls, they don't have, even in Gaza, not just in Maghazi refugees, even in whole Gaza, we don't have enough clubs that uh, uh, to uh, gain or to provide all the students or all the youth uh, here in Gaza. Thank you. Thank you. That's very interesting. Yeah. I just want to remind the students in Malaga, Remember that the young people we are speaking to today live in a refugee camp, Al Magazi camp, with 35,000 people on only 360 square uh, kilometers. No, uh, no, El Magazi, it's just half uh, a quarter. Oh, one half, yes, I'm sorry, yes. Gaza Strip has two million people. Yes, exactly. Yes, yeah, sorry. One one half a square kilometer. Exactly. That's what I was one, thinking of myself. Yes, very small area with many people. Hello, my name is Alejandro. My difficult is I have friends on the other side of Malaga. Then I have to take to public transport, or they have to take to public transport to meet. Half and four to see you and to public transport in total. So my question is, is it difficult to you to meet your friends? Okay. Thank you. I think, yes, her. she mentioned the difficulties. Her friends live on the other side of Malaga and to see them, she must use different uh, buses, public transport. So yeah. the difficulties of public transport, asking the young people in, in Gaza or in Al-Magazi camp if they have difficulties or not of this sort to see their friends. Okay, he said that one of the problems that she faces is that her friends live on the other side of Malaga. I mean, of course, Malaga is a big deal. So, she uses public transport and so on, so this is a problem for them. So, one of the problems is that she is not able to see her daily friends or her daily friends in a regular way. So, is this work that she is doing or not? No, we don't want to do it because the distance is small. Yeah, okay. Uh, so uh, she said, she said that, for example, Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, okay. One of them. Uh, yeah, uh, Musa said that uh, uh, his cousin, uh, his cousins or his uncles live in the West Bank, and West Bank is another area in Palestine. And we don't have, we don't uh, have the ability to go there. Uh, so there's so many challenges, so many difficult, so many ports to get in West Bank. So he didn't meet his uncles for more than six years, and that's. That's a horrible thing, and that's because of the Israeli occupation, the uh, the border between uh, Gaza Strip and West Bank, and after the um, divisions between two parties here in Gaza and West Bank. Thank you, thank you. In Malaga, Laura, did your students understand the difficulties Musa has? He cannot, he has not seen his family in six years. I know, yes, and we've been told uh, people from Al Quds, this association, they came and explained to good. my parents good. the differences between the West Bank and the Gaza yes. Strip and how difficult it is to communicate. Yes, so they, they are good. aware, they are aware of their difficulties. Very good, very good. And please apologize for the mistake I made before when I uh, described the Al Magasi camp where they live as an area of 360 square kilometers. That was a mistake because the Gaza itself, the Strip of Gaza is 360 kilometers. And these young people live in a refugee camp that is only one half kilometer square kilometer. So it's a very small area. Yeah. Make sure that they understand that I made the mistake. Yeah. Thank Actually, you. You, if you can, you can tell them in Spanish too. If you okay, okay. Sí, sí. Eh, perdonar un momento, los jóvenes aquí en el instituto. Debo disculparme por un error, porque estaba queriendo eh, hacer, a, 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 cerciorarme de que habéis entendido bien dónde viven estos jóvenes en casa. Viven en un campo, eh, campamento de refugiados, Al Magasi. 
y erróneamente dije que es un área de 360 kilómetros cuadrados, eso no es correcto, es la France franja de Gaza que mide 360 kilómetros cuadrados y que tiene una población de 2 millones y el campo eh, el campamento de refugiados al Magasi solo tiene medio kilómetro cuadrado es una, una área una área muy pequeña en el cual viven 3, 35 mil personas, así que creo que es importante que entendéis ese contexto, gracias y disculparme por mi error ok, thank you I was just apologizing um, in Malaga to the students for erroneously saying that your, uh, the refugee camp where you live measured, I made the mistake and said 360 uh, square kilometers. No, that's the whole uh, uh, Gaza Strip. Where you live is a very small area of one half kilometer, square kilometers. So it makes a big difference. Thank you. Uh, okay. okay. هي بالاول قالت انه الصبيه اللي تحت اللي من الهاي من المدرسه قالت انه احنا عرفنا الشباب او عرفنا الشباب اللي لنا بانه عن غزه وعن الضفه وقديش انه هو صعب التواصل ما بينهم عشان الحواجز الموجوده ما بين الضفه وما بين قطاع غزه، كمان هي اعتذرت عن المستيك او عن الخطا انه هي قالت انه المغازي 365 كيلو متر، لا هو غزه كلها 365 كيلو متر بيعيش فيها 2 مليون شخص فهي بتقول انه هي كثير مساحه صغيره على عدد سكان ضخم. اوكي. Thank you. Okay, I think Malaga. Hello, my name is Enrique. I want to think about uh, the situation of the woman in Spain. In Spain, when a woman is asked in a job interview if she wants to have children, if she answers yes, it is a problem for the business. But if a man is asked, asked the same question, if he answers yes, it is a positive thing for the business because they think that the man is a responsible man. Does this happen in your country as well? Thank you. That's thank you, Enrique. Thank you. Okay. Um, I am sorry, but I don't uh, I don't understand the whole question. Can you repeat it, if you please? Yes. Enrique said that in Spain, if a woman goes for an interview for a job. When they ask her if she wants to have children and she says yes, that is a problem for the woman. The, the company believes that this will be a problem for them. Yeah. But if a man goes for the interview for the same job and they ask the man the same question and the man says yes, he wants to have children, then the company's reaction is different. They think this is good because they think that a man who wants to have a family is going to be a responsible person. So there is a difference, right, in the reaction. And Enrique wants to know, do you have the same problem in Gaza? Okay, okay, thank you. فإذا قالت يس راح يعتبروا انه هذه مشكله لانه ما راح يعتبروا انه هي راح تكون كثير مشغوله بالنسبه لطفلها وبالنسبه فراح تبعد شوي عن الشغل او مش هتقدم بالشغل كثير بطريقه كويسه يعني بس لو نسال الرجل بنفس الوظيفه بنفس المقابله انه اذا حضرتك حابب تنجب طفل وجاوب اه بيعتبروا انه هذا شيء كثير كويس لانه بالنسبه لهم انه هو شخص عنده بيت وعنده اسره يبقى اكيد راح يكون مسؤول يبقى راح يقدم كثير بالشغل وهكذا، فالوضع الوضع ما بين الرجل وما بين الانثى مختلف تماما والاجابه بتكون مختلفه تماما ويعني ممكن يوصفوها ما يوصفوهاش ممكن يوصفوها بالرغم من انهم جاوبوا نفس الجواب لنفس السؤال، فهل بتواجه نفس بتواجهوا نفس المشكله هنا ولا لا؟ Okay. 
حكينا عن الاخوه اللي ممكن يعلموا الولد والبنت يحملوا يعني بدهاش تعليم يقولوا خلص بعدين Okay, Yumna and Siwar asked for uh, this question. He said that, uh, she said uh, that uh, we have uh, the same problem regarding the uh, women and uh, men. Uh, for example, uh, when uh, two pro uh, uh, brother and sister come to a uh, university, they, the uh, parents can educate and pay fees for uh, the man or for the uh, male youth, but they don't educate the uh, female because or the women because uh, they get married and uh, uh, they don't have uh, the uh, the chance to educate and they complete university and that are a real problem here and uh, okay now uh, they understand English okay no uh, uh, another problem uh, faces here a uh, woman faces here in Gaza that um, uh, and when she gets married, sometimes people or sometimes parents don't uh, uh, have uh, her uh, free to choose her uh, uh, her husband. They uh, they uh, married married her with no uh, with no take her permission, and that's a very real problem we face here in Gaza. Thank you, thank you, Laura. Did your students understand? Yes. yes. Thank you. Now, Mohammed, he's going to speak in, in Arabic, if that's okay. And then oh. maybe he can also make the question in Spanish. Very Ahlan. good. Ahlan. <laughs> السلام عليكم أنا اسمي محمد أنا من المغرب يعني سؤالي هو كالآتي يعني في فلسطين عامة وفي غزة خصوصا يعني إيش يعني مستوى الأمان اللي عندكم يعني لما الأطفال يخرجوا يلعبوا أو أو بدكم يعني تخرجوا تشتروا شيء يعني إيش مستوى الأمان يعني يمكن حدا يعني يخرج لحاله أو لازم يكون معه يعني يعني حد مسؤول تمام تمام سمعتوا السؤال ايش مستوى الامان اللي بيواجهوه اطفالكم يعني في حال انه بده ينزل يلعب او بده تنزل بتلعبوا هل لازم يكون في شخص كبير يكون موجود ولا ممكن تلعبوا عادي طبعا دخل الحظ بس اذا كان ولد صغير لازم يكون عليه رقابه اما اذا ولد مثلا من الاعداديه ابتدائيه عادي يلعب مع قرايب يلعب مع اولاد تلعب يعني بتلعب في شارع بدون مطاف في الحروب no, okay, first of all, uh, thank you for Muhammad because he's speaking English uh, in Arabic. So uh, uh, our students understand. He said, or he asked for a question that if someone or if some children uh, want to uh, play in the ground, in the street, uh, uh, can that if possible or can be uh, even security in this or they have uh, uh, some adult to be with uh, him or to be with us uh, to be with uh, them so uh, uh, our uh, youth uh, palestinian people here in gaza said that um in uh, in lives in 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 lives in daily lives in normal uh, situations there is no uh, for youth for 14 for example if, uh, 18 years old they can go they can uh, play with them with themselves in streets here and there but uh, we face uh, a problem when uh, there is aggression or war in Gaza. People here cannot go out even if he is adult or even if she is adult because there is many bombs, there is many uh, uh, destructions and they can even targeted or being targeted from Israeli occupation and Israeli attacks even if he is a, a civil, a civilian, or a, a, a citizenship, a normal citizenship, so uh, they faces many problems regarding this 
And you know, uh, Gaza Strip have uh, many aggressions here in Gaza, targeted by uh, Israeli occupation. We have four uh, uh, occupation, or we have four wars, uh, uh, starting from 26 and to 2021. So um, that's a problem. Thank you. Thank you very much. Malaga, did you understand well the difficulties of insecurity in Gaza Strip, particularly when there are attacks from the Israeli army? They have undergone four wars in the last 10 or 12 years, and this is a big problem. Hi, my name is Caro, and my question is, are girls expected to get better grades than boys? Can you repeat, Caro, your question? Uh, are girls expected to get better grades than boys? Very interesting. Are girls expected to get better grades than boys? Grades? Grades, marks at school. Yeah, in school, yeah, okay. Uh, بتقول لكم انه هل الطلاب الطالبات يعني البنات بيحصلوا علامات اعلى من الطلاب في المدرسه ولا لا تفضل يا يوم يا اوكي اي اي كان سي ذات girls and boys uh, have um, يعني, uh, so many aware that school is very important here in Gaza because that's the only way to uh, get uh, a better life but yes girls have uh, so many marks or uh, get better marks than boys okay um, yeah that's that's very interesting so girls get better marks but do they get better marks because they think that they have to get better marks because the teachers think that, you know, for, or for girls to get ahead, they feel more pressure to get better marks? Or is it because girls just study more? Girls, girls <laughs> study more because uh, sometimes boys are uh, uh, playing football in the street, uh, for example. Yeah. They don't... Uh, 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 they don't focus, uh, especially in the first uh, high school uh, um, years. So uh, girls have uh, better marks. Thank so, you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. That's good. Okay. Uh, uh, Musa uh, also wants to say that uh, some... Um, Boys here in is uh, here in Gaza in high school can get job to uh, uh, even if they are so young to uh, get jobs because they wanna uh, to uh, have their families better income and they wanna to live and that's a very important problem mm -hmm. because they the highest employment so uh, the uh, the parents. Uh, cannot provide them a better life. So he have to uh, go in the streets and find jobs to uh, eat. Thank you. So of course, the, what Musa is saying then is that on top of having to study, uh, he maybe has less time to devote to studies because he must also find a job to help his family. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, I'm Andrea. I want to ask about the women's, uh, women's situation. Um, in Spain, women are sometimes sexualized. Does it happen in your country? Did you understand the question? Yeah, um, I, I cannot understand it clear. I think she said, uh, she asked about the uh, women's situation in, in in Gaza, right? Yeah, she says that often, or on a, yeah, in, in a good number of situations, she talks about the term we use, sex sexualization of women, or she says that women are sexualized. In other words, the focus yeah. on women, the sexual attributes of women, or of women being uh, used 
uh, because of their bodies, of their looks, you understand, um, okay. of, of, of using women in that sense as and sexual objects. I don't know. And this is okay. a problem young women sometimes detect, or women in general, we detect this in society. Okay, can you mention about the woman in the Okay, but Okay, actually, they, we don't we don't have uh, this problem here uh, here in Gaza. I said that uh, we we have a problem, for example, in education in universities, but uh, regarding their educated, but not regarding their sexual uh, things. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is very, very interesting. Well, um, I think we have uh, reached the end of our event. And I don't know if in Gaza any young students would like to make any other comments before we say goodbye to each other. Okay, we say that we have the meeting that we بس إذا أنتوا حابين إنه أنتوا أحد منكم إنه تدو كومنت تدو يعني أي تعليق أي ملاحظة أي إشي عن الاجتماع. حاجتنا كشباب الحين وزهرات إلى مراكز ثقافية تهتم بالفن. والأدب والموسيقى والمطالعة فلسطين فيها مواهب تنبثر لعدم وجود كشافين لغصد هذه المواهب وتنميتها أوكي أوه احفظ نحن نعمل بأن يكون لدينا مقدرة على الوصول والتواصل بالدول الأخرى المتطورة والمتقدمة ولكننا لا نستطيع بسبب وجود الاحتلال Okay, we have uh, we have um, uh, two comments. Uh, uh, my friend here, Siwar, wants to say that. Um, uh, one of the problem here in Gaza is uh, that we don't have air plan, airport. We don't have a planes to uh, get out uh, uh, Gaza and to communicate with the uh, port, uh, uh, the the lives there in in uh, the whole world. So that's a problem they face. They want the occupation is Israeli occupation want us to stay here in Gaza, to stuck here in Gaza without any communication with the other people. So. Uh, we need these meetings here uh, with you, with us, uh, with all people that they um, um, have uh, the, uh, the, uh, the no the right uh, case here in Gaza. And he said, and uh, another one, Adil said that uh, they wanted to empower their uh, their skills in sports, in arts, in music. They want uh, uh, clubs that they meet. Uh, uh, their hobbies and their skills. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think in Malaga, young people have understood well the problem. They do not have an airport in Gaza. They are um, the Israeli occupation is trying to keep the people of Gaza in Gaza without any contact with the rest of the world. And these young people in Gaza 
believe that this kind of meeting that we have organized today, thanks to you young people in Gaza and in Malaga, must continue so that the rest of the world knows how isolated they are and to enable them to be in contact with people all over the world. This is very important. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank those of you in Gaza for your time, for your patience, for sharing your difficulties with us and your hopes for the future. And also uh, the young students in Malaga for the same reason. And I would just like to end myself by reminding you that Al Quds, one of our missions is the defense of human rights. All of you have probably read and you know what the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is. It was approved in December 1948. Actually, I am six months older than the Declaration of Human Rights. But so much work still has to be done to make sure that people all over the world are entitled to enjoy their human rights. And I will just remind all of you of Article 1 of the Declaration of Human Rights. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. So uh, this is what you have started doing today, young people, and I hope we will all be able to continue doing this in the future. Yeah, we hope. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the high school, uh, Pablo uh, Picasso. I, I just, yeah, we delight that we meet you uh, all, all 